All right, so uh, this is a uh, gameplay of me actually playing PlayStation 3 games, exclusive titles, on uh, my phone using Moonlight Game Stream and the PlayStation Now launcher, which I've added to GeForce Experience. And I'm going to resume my session here. And it was working, so hopefully this time it hasn't lost any kind of controller connection. I'm using a MOGA controller, so it seems like most controllers are working with X input and stuff like that, so that works fine. Now, my controller doesn't have the best Wi-Fi antenna, and when I record, it tends to give me shit performance, so uh, just to let you know, when I don't record, it works just fine. There's a little bit of access latency, but nothing major. Um, now, if I can only remember how to get back. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Okay, so here we go with this. Uh, Motor, Motor Storm, I've tried Motor Storm Apocalypse. Uh, it's a little rough because of a little bit of latency, but let's do Uncharted 2. So we are going to try to launch it. Hopefully it, it kept the control. I think it kept the controller connection. And there we go. Now we're launching it. So it sees, sees my controller just fine. And uh, now we can actually play Uncharted 2 on, on my cell phone using PlayStation Now. The latency is surprisingly good. I have uh, my my internet connection is 50 down, and I forget what up, but it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter so much as the download speeds. But it works fine. If a game has a lot of uh, input latency uh, on your PC, uh, and it makes it really hard to play, like Killzone, uh, then I really probably stay away from it. Literally, I wouldn't play that on my PC. It's um, it's too much too much input latency. We'll see how Uncharted works. So, yeah. Then I gotta try this out on my Shield tablet and my Shield TV. I guarantee you it works way better because, well, the streaming always does work better than on my phone. Charted 2, Among Thieves, on my cell phone. Let's just continue. Oh, I apologize if you can hear button clicking. Uh, I probably should have put my I should have found my mic. I have a PlayStation mic that actually works with this. And I didn't even remember. I've been wanting to use it for a while, and now I'm sitting here giving you button clicking noises. So, sorry. My fault. I'm stupid. I'm afraid if I plugged it in now, it would uh, it would cause a problem with the recording. I'll just remember the next time. And yeah, this is working fairly well, uh, especially with the recording. I imagine it works better. So okay, so yeah, it's working. And Uncharted is actually very playable. Streaming a video of a video of a video or whatever. Um, if I can only remember what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Um, <laughs> what's that blinking thing? Guess I'm supposed to get that. Oh, no. Wrong button. Yay, I got treasure. Now... Imagine I have to climb up something like normal. Oh, there you go. There's a ladder there. Reach up there and grab the ladder. And the controls are working fine. The latency is just fine for this game. Yeah. Well, I don't think I have to That's hold the exactly. button anymore, so it can be fine. With my phone, there's always a little bit of uh, choppiness when streaming. It's my phone. Um, oh, it looks like uh, there's some kind of ladder there. Can't, uh, okay. Then I just go up. All right. This is the way to the courtyard. OK. 
Okay. And yeah, this is working really good. Well, we're not going I didn't way. think it was going to be not good because I'm streaming a stream, you know, right. streaming to my computer, then streaming to um, my phone, it, which I would expect to make tons of latency, but it's actually really good. And my phone uh, with Limelight or Moonlight normally actually introduces excess latency over game stream. Noticeable. So I would imagine with game stream it would be a lot better. But this is perfectly playable. Okay, where am I going again? I wasn't listening. I'm doing something. Am I supposed to like give him a, some kind of something? Oh, I just saw some. What is that? One of those water things? Or water main gear or whatever you gotta. Hey, it just showed like some kind of. Oh. You got it. There you go. So just drop. Okay. Now where am I going? Here. Oops. Okay. Go this way or I'll go up here. And then what? I'll just drop down and Should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? So uh, I, I think this is uh, you know good enough um, Here, to right. show you that you can do this. Um, so I w took a chance with the um, controller support. Let me just save this because there wasn't too much information and there was kind of a mixed. Um, it was a little bit of a, some mixed info. Some people saying that um, 360 controllers and X input uh, worked, and some people said it didn't. I've been able to get my Xbox 360 controller to work. I've got this uh, MOGA working over GameStream, which is emulating X input. Um, so that works well. Uh, I've seen people do it with Xbox One controller. Uh, I just can't get it to work in the menus where you select games. It only works in game, so I don't know. Uh, let's save. So yeah, it's cool. I can do that, and then I can quit, or I can just completely. Let's just hit quit. Menus work fine. I mean, menus aren't really. It's not like, oh my god, if I if there's a little delay, it's going to make it terrible or something, for the menus at least. Alright, so I'm just going to bring this up and to quit the game. Um, let me see if, if the, the regular way of quitting the game works, which is to get out of here and hit this, and then hit quit session. I don't know if it'll quit out on my PC. It didn't last time. Let's see. It will let you know. Yes, it did. It killed the. Uh, it did kill the whole application. No. Yep. It killed the whole app on my PC. So thank you for watching, and see you later, or something.